I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Chris Thorne, and this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. Day 30. That's it. We did it. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to walk around, pull in my fishing lines and snares, see if there's anything there for breakfast. See if I can't get one last shot off at a rabbit and make us some nice, delicious, going away breakfast. And do our catfish down by the water. And then it's time to pack up and head back to Maine. nothing in the traps the snares had not gone off so I took those down and I haven't seen a rabbit or anything this morning everything's pretty darn quiet heading back now to the fire I'll get it going and get the ever stew on and I just have to check the see if there's a trout or not a trout <laughs> I wish that's dreaming uh, catfish down there and haul those lines in for good and head back to Maine if you haven't seen it already, though, that it was pretty darn epic right from the beginning. Check out the playlist below where you can go back and watch it from the beginning on my channel and on Chris's channel. See our adventures every day as they unfolded. They're quite the adventure. Not the big explosive bang at the end here I was hoping for, but still pretty awesome. You know, I wanted to like end with like, you know, day. Uh, 25, ah, oh, we got a massive boar, we're just gonna sit here and gorge ourselves and build stuff, and, eh, we had a massive raccoon, <laughs> and we did some pretty neat stuff, so I'm not unsatisfied, if anything, the lack of getting something big game-wise means it's an opportunity to do it better next time, which is always an adventure, and I love my adventures. That's why I like to keep a piece of rotten wood next to the fire that burns out. A little spark onto a piece of rotten wood that's coalified catches right up and you can blow it into life with some sticks and twigs on it. It's nice to have. All right, Chris, come forward. Okay. Up, for your time in 30 days of survival and for your exemplary efforts in keeping the fire going, getting a fire going when it's raining and we had to get a fire going and getting it going quickly so we can have food, getting a fire going and keeping it going in multiple situations, restarting a fire for overnight and just uh, exemplary effort in fire uh, making and preparation. I want to award you with your first match of three <laughs> that you are now allowed to wear in your hat as a fire, fire master, uh, fire uh, apprentice level one. <laughs> Fair enough, thanks brother. <laughs> you get your second one when you can uh, 
Let's, uh, let's, I don't know what the second one is. You I gotta think, mail me one when I do my 30 day challenge by myself. I, I think, I think, no, well, no, it takes more than that. It's like the third, <laughs> the third one is exemplary, extra exemplary fire master level when you keep your fire going for like 50 days. Uh, or you can start a fire with a bow drill that you made yourself from natural fibers. You know, uh, your second one is uh, starting a fire in any condition with one match or one uh, fire steel without uh, without any fire starter aids whatsoever. So you can use a fire starter, but you have to use all natural. Yeah, like okay. yeah, all natural. <coughs> like that should be too insanely hard. Here. But in all the conditions. So in the rain, in the, you know, you have to do it like one each in all the conditions. Like a dry day doesn't count because my grandmother, uh, yeah, well, she could, she, probably do that. she could probably do that. She could probably do that. Yeah, she could probably do well, that. I gotta go put this in my hat then. Yeah. <laughs> Wham. Nice. Last time down to my special little fishing cove to see if I have one last fish for breakfast. It is so quiet and cool down here with the fog and the, on the water. And I'm gonna miss this spot. I don't see any lines jerking or jumping around, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I've been doing. Not on this one. Catfish are just so elusive. You got gills, you got fish. I was nailing them on those gills, but you gotta catch a fish first to have the gills. <sighs> Nothing. All my lines are pulled in. All right, one last cup of fish head soup and it's packing time, I guess. I will miss this location. This has been such a neat spot. What a beautiful place. Well, goodbye fishing hole. Goodbye my fortress of solitude. Goodbye, Rocket Stove. I enjoyed cooking my coffees on you in the morning. I'll try to come back and visit. We'll see. There we go. Phew. That's a little bit of a hike. Needs some more steps. That's up to Chris now. If he decides to start keep coming down here and making himself at home. Yeehaw. What a beautiful place. Thank you, Lord, for beautiful places like Texas. No fish, no fish, no, no one fish. last fish. Uh, whew, too hot for that. <sighs> ah, last cup of ever stew. Oh man, that's good. I will miss this Texas weather right now though because I am going home to a frozen tundra. There we go, there's the ever stew. That's what's left of it, like three days worth of calories maybe still, four days worth of calories to be stewed out of there and all kinds of other good electrolytes and things that could be stewed and drank out of there for at least another week. But we're done, I had a big old cup of this and it's time to get going. Thank you for your, thank you Lord for all the energy we got from all that. Whew. Yeah. Woo. Hey, congratulations guys. Thanks. Woo. It is day 30. Are you guys ready to go home? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, our reward for, I, I was kind of hoping Starbucks, but uh, I, it's not, I didn't request it, so I can't expect to you know, mind read. There we go. 30 day survival challenge, that's cute with the Sasquatch. You can get yours, link below. <laughs>
I'm gonna put mine on now. I don't even care that I'm all dirty. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? I did not realize how dirty this is until I put on a new shirt. Holy cow. What a difference. All right, now for the final way out. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. All right, so we got our first weigh in on day four. So what I went ahead and did is just added three pounds to our totals. So Zach came in at 198 for his uh, fourth day. So I went ahead and just gave him 201 just as a liberal bowl. You know, we just had Chinese food and everything the day before. So uh, the official quote unquote day one total will be 201 for Zach. And then we're going to see where he's at right now, which is probably like 163 or something. Pocket hoarding towards the end here. I even had this cool rock that like, I'm going to bring home for the kids. Oh, if you did that right, you could turn that into like a release aid for a boat. Dun, dun, dun. One seventy six. Yeah, that is beast mode, son. That one. Let's say one seventy eight. Yeah, one seventy eight. One seventy eight. <clears throat> it seemed like one seventy six at the beginning. That's back to like one seventy six. One seventy seven. Let's say one seventy seven. Split the hairs. With. My day four total being 255, I added three pounds like I did for Zach, and that puts me at 258. So, day 30. <laughs> 228! <laughs> so that's about 24 pounds in 30 days. I'd say it's pretty good considering how all the stuff that I was doing, eating like the ever stew every day and or a meal a day, that's pretty good. Time for the camp teardown. Say goodbye to the camp and get home. Part of me wants to go home and string up this uh, war bonnet hammock in my bedroom and sleep in that. I don't know, my bed. Some days I wake up so stiff and, and like so uncomfortable and I gotta like roll out of bed like an old man and be like ah. Alright, goodbye beautiful table. Goodbye, beautiful Texas. Maine, here I come. Goodbye, I'll see you in Maine.
Hold hands. Mm. All right, dear Lord, thank you for this food and this beautiful snow day. Bless this food to our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Woohoo! Salad. Almost forgot the best part. Red pepper. That mm. makes it hot. We don't like it. You don't like it? Good. Then you won't be stealing my salad. It's mine. My and, own. My and, precious. <laughs> Arr, <laughs> <laughs> That's a manly salad. Steak, peanut butter dressing, pork rinds, broccoli. That's some good stuff. Mmm. This is so good. So good. You're missing out. You don't know what you're missing out on. We have... If you eat possum and raccoon every day for 30 days, you'll you'll want to eat a salad. No way. Someday we're going to do it together, right? Me and you? Nope. Never. We're going to go out and survive, right? Mm-mm. No. Yeah. No, no raccoon for me. Oh, come on. Remember we used to eat goat all the time? But I don't like raccoon. I can How do you know unless you've tried it? I have... No raccoon. Yeah. Raccoon, I will. You will eat the raccoon? Mm. And the rattlesnake? Mm. And the possum? All right, I got one. Sparrow. Season 10 of uh, 30 Day Survival Challenge, huh? Where are we going to do it, Sparrow? Where do you want to go? Um, to a wild animal place. To a wild animal place. That sounds like a plan. Would you eat turtle? No. Not even cooked it. <laughs> but, but with the... I will eat it, Toto. You will? <laughs> with, with some stuff on it. Um, with some stuff on it, that would taste good. What are we going to put on wild food? With Bobo. With Bobo? With Bobo fat? <laughs> it's with Dobo. <laughs> now I can't even say it. Can you say with Dobo? With Dobo. Mmm. <laughs> Isn't that good? Well, guys, I'm at home. I got my salad. I got my girls. I got everything I need in life until the next adventure. That steak was our butcher box steak. You can get it in the link below. Awesome stuff. I love it because I do the keto. I do a salad like this every day. I only eat twice a day, even while I'm at home here. So I'll have a salad for lunch with like some sort of bacon or steak from Butcher Box on it and a bunch of vegetables and pork rinds and maybe even some nuts. Try out a different dressing almost every day. I love my salads. All right guys, if you made this far, I suppose you deserve to know, you wanna know where is season two gonna happen? It's gonna happen with my fellow alone alumni, Greg Ovens. I don't let anything go to waste. I've spent most of my life in uh, the Rocky Mountains, BC. That's my trap. There. Did we get them? Not that time we got them. Look. There we go. Nice. We're going to do it in Canada, kind of over there by um, like the other side of the United States from where I am here in Maine, so up there in Canada somewhere. We're still hashing out the details. It's still a very raw idea. So we're going to be doing that the end of June into the middle of July, and we will be airing it in August. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be epic. But you don't have to wait till August for new episodes. I filmed this last October in Canada and it'll be airing before the end of the month. Season four of the Wilderness Living Challenge. Yeah! Woohoo! Bear meat and bear fat with some adobo. That's so good. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll update you more as soon as we have our full details regulated, figured out, blah, 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 blah. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm done with this film and stuff. What do you guys think? You too? I'm done. Yeah. We're done with it. We're going. Bowler's out. Bowler's out. We're going sledding. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yep. Here we go. <laughs> so, silly Abby. <laughs>
you doing? I love you. Thanks, guys. I love you. In winter time, you should have some hot cocoa. Let's say thanks for watching. I already said that. Oh, you didn't say Call thanks for her watching. Out. Make me and Miss Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>